Hey everyone! So last week I did a YouTube video. I vlogged um, my open house that I did. I kind of chatted with you guys a little bit in the beginning and you seemed to like it. So I thought I would do it again this week since I'm doing another open house. I can't wait to share with you this property, but before we get into it, um, you know, I'm always wanting to help real estate agents. So if you have questions, feel free to ask in the comments and on my next video, I will answer those questions. So I'm excited to see uh, what questions you guys have. So first things first is I kind of just wanted to start this video off by sharing about this week because it was just such a cool week for me. And I don't know, selfishly, I think it'll be cool to look back on life and, and you just want to remember these things and be you know we're so busy with the hustle and bustle of life and I just want to spend more time uh, being present and so I wanted to share with you this week so first thing is Amanda and I we had celebrated um, doing our mastermind call for over a year now so um, if you're new here Amanda Knight she's a real estate agent out in Dallas Texas her and I host a weekly mastermind call for realtors it's open to all ages all over the country and we do this every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern 6 p.m. Central it's the same zoom link every single week I'll share it in the comments set a reminder if you haven't yet you haven't joined us and we do a different topic every single week and then we do a Q&A at the end. So it's a great time for you to come on video or post in the chat and um, ask any questions that you have. Amanda and I run our businesses so differently so you get the response of two agents live. It's pretty cool. So um, I'm just really proud of that. I am really proud of us for being committed and doing this for over a year now. We've just had so much fun. And this week's past episode, we did things different where we just like reflected and we talked about the year and our favorite episodes, our favorite guests, and just like what an amazing tribe of, um, it's mostly women, what an amazing tribe of amazing women um, that we have. We just love, love it so much. And one thing that I didn't mention in the mastermind call that I wanna mention here is like Amanda and I didn't know each other when this started. Like, I reached out to her, but I don't think a lot of people realize, like they're always so shocked whenever um, I mentioned it. It's like, yeah, we, we had never met before. And I was just like, hey girl, do you wanna do this weekly mastermind call with me? I just, she's such a great person. She's an amazing realtor. We run our businesses so differently. So I just felt like we'd be a great team doing it. Um, but we actually didn't meet until this year. In February, I went out to Dallas for uh, Keller Williams family reunion, so I met her there for the first time, and then I went back out to Dallas. Uh, it's probably been almost two months now, so that was only the second time that I had met her. I stayed at her house with her fiance, and like, I just felt like I was staying with family. Like her and I have just grown so close. And if you're watching this, I love you, girl. <laughs> Okay, so another really cool thing this week is um, I was on Joshua Smith's podcast. Um, he has a YouTube channel. It's called the. He's the host of the GSD Mode, and he is a badass realtor. If you're not, if you're a real estate agent and you haven't followed him yet, you need to. He has so much free content online. So he lives in Arizona. He's a broker. He has a mega team, and he's in the top one percent of brokers worldwide and he interviews like top producing agents I have been following him since the beginning and I've just always felt like he would never interview me but y'all it happened <laughs> it happened this week and I'm so excited it went awesome and you know just our whole conversation and you know only talking to him you know for an hour but he just seems so kind and really genuine and a really really good person so Highly, highly recommend checking out that content. And when that video go, video goes live, I will definitely be sharing with you on YouTube or, I don't know, on Instagram. If you're not following me, it's at Soul Okay, the last thing that I wanted to share, actually I have two more things. I posted a really, really fun giveaway. I'll actually show you the items. Uh, these people, my friends, they have just contributed to this awesome giveaway. So we've got some of them I contributed like Han Wine, Chelsea Peterson had contributed this awesome uh, ring light tripod. I love these like square wine glasses. Um, I do have the link for them in my Amazon storefront. I love those and I did some 
uh, ring lights and echo dots. They're having a really good fun day sale. My girlfriend Lauren like swears by this hair dryer. Um, so she's contributing in that. And then Britt contributed um, all those goodies from Rodan and Fields. I hope I'm getting this in the frame. So this is actually what I'm wearing here. She sent me one with Banks jewelry. Um, and then I also have that for the giveaway. And then a, gosh, what else? A $50 card for all of the May boutique. And then my friend Morgan, who's an interior designer. Oh, I have the base on the counter. She contributed this really super cute base and a $150 voucher towards her services. So like, wow, so cool. Um, Okay, last thing is that I hit 17,000 followers this week. So, crazy, crazy. I get asked all the time how to get big guys. I made it to the house. I was getting a little stressed out because I was running a little late, um, but I made it in time. I've actually already been here for an hour. So I went to, while I was running late, was I went to Mini Bar Donuts. It's kind of becoming a tradition with my open houses is I, I'm picking up these mini donuts um, from their beach location. It's awesome because you can place the order online and then go through their little drive-through and pick it up. And I always get a ice medium uh, Americano with oat milk and caramel. So it's kind of like a my treat for the week. But anyways, okay. So I got out here. Wow, I cannot wait to give you a tour of the house. I just had a second to um, be able to do this video because we've actually been pretty busy. Like I said, I've already been here for an hour and this is such a huge house. So I've really only had, I think four couples come through. All right, so let me give you a tour of this house. Should we go outside first? Let's go outside. Y'all know I'm just way in this whole video vlogging thing so i'd love for you to share in the comments if you like the video so we're in mandarin this is such a nice established neighborhood and as you can see it's located in a cul-de-sac it has this massive driveway look at this house you guys wow this is a house and you've got my car over there um, so you have the two car garage on the side of the house. Look at these columns. I've just been loving walking through this house because I go into so many new construction homes and it's, you know, so cookie cutter. And this house has all the character. Okay, so front door area is pretty grand. I'm just gonna run through and give you a tour. So they have this set up as their piano room, but it would make an amazing office. This is the main living room space. Really nice, great size room. You have right here, it's kind of nice because it's separate. It's like a master because it has the bathroom, it's got the closets. So check out, this is one of the outdoor spaces. They've got a ping pong table out here. Oh gosh, I can't wait to show you the pool, it's so nice. I love like I can just tell like I would love these owners. They seem like my kind of people. So a lot of the feedback's been really good. I actually just had this woman come in and she was like, I hate white cabinets. They're so bad. They like the natural wood look and she didn't even go upstairs. They left. Really, really nice couple though, but you know, you like what you like. And I like this pool. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. This is probably one of the biggest pools I have seen that I can think of. So this house is a five bedroom, four and a half bath, a little bit over 4,000 square feet, and it's listed at $762,000. And it is huge. I'm getting my steps in, giving people tours over here. So huge master, look at the closets. This is just one of them. So my friend Morgan had messaged me and she was like, one would be an amazing closet, and then another one would be like a great dressing room. I'm like, yes, I love where your head's at. Okay, <laughs> they have this bathroom. So it's really like two masters because the one downstairs has a really big closet 
and has, we've got a shower in here, um, has the attached bath as well. So that's really nice and great for an older couple who doesn't want to have to go up and down the stairs or great for guests because they have like their own separate space with, with everything. Cute. Okay, this room. Okay, we're not there yet. I'll show you these. Too soon. Nice bathroom. The floor. This is super cute. Wow, look at those built-ins. That's amazing. Okay, this room. This room right here. I'm like, I would be in here all the time. They have a Peloton, workout space. It's like a man cave with the TV and you've got these recliners. This is the second laundry room that they have upstairs. That's awesome. 